So what if I told you you could get a smart home hub that can control thousands of different brands, it can control Matter devices, Zigbee devices, Wi-Fi, it's got a home assistant built in, it's got a touch screen, you can mount it on your wall, and it costs less than a reasonably priced tablet. Well, what would you say? Well, let's check it out. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So in this video I'm taking a look at a, a smart home hub device uh, that wants to really be kind of like the center of your smart home. Uh, that is the ISG uh, Display Max from Lincoln Link. Um, the guys over there have kindly gone and sent one to me for um, being able to review on the channel. Um, you know, as always, you know, they've not paid any money for this review. Um, you know, they've not even seen this video before it's gone live on YouTube, so they've not had any editorial input or anything like that. And um, yeah, you know, you get my honest opinion of this product as well. So first of all, let's just uh, kind of like have a look at what you get in the box. So inside, obviously, you get the main unit itself, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a tablet based thing. It's a little bit, um, a little bit bulkier on the back than a normal tablet. Uh, underneath that, um, you know, you get a box of accessories and uh, you get your power supply uh, along with a um, USB connected cable with a barrel connector on the end. And um, yeah, you get this desktop stand as well. So worth noting the uh, ISG Display Max can be wall mounted. So it's got a wall mounting uh, hole on the back um, but uh, you know you can just stick it on this mount and it can go on the desk um, you know it's got a number of different uh, features on it so I'll just dive into the specification of this so um, it's an 8 core 1.8 gigahertz uh, CPU and it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM and um, you know, it keeps it nice and snappy I would say uh, you've got 32 gigabytes of onboard storage uh, it's a 1280 by 800 display, so not a super high resolution display, but it is uh, pretty decent so that you're not really kind of, you know, you're able to get enough on the screen. It looks crisp and clear. Um, you know, you've got, uh, <laughs> amazingly, you've got Zigbee and uh, Bluetooth built into this, so no need for a separate uh, Zigbee dongle. It doesn't have Z-Wave built in, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so, you know, you guys who predominantly use Z-Wave, you're going to have to use one of the two USB ports that are on the back of the device. It's got a USB-A and it's got a USB-C um, and you'll, you'll have to plug your Z-Wave adapter into uh, one of those. Um, it's got an SD card reader as well. Um, so, you know, you've pretty much got everything there that you need for, um, you know, some kind of smart home controlling tablet. So getting this set up is pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. Uh, you need to download the app off uh, your appropriate store and uh, create yourself an account. And then basically uh, you just pair it to the ISG Display Max. You can do quite a bit of functionality on the app, to be honest with you. So um, you don't have to do everything on the actual um, you know, touch screen itself. So, um, but it, it's pretty straightforward. You just scan your QR code and you're, you're in. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the uh, ISG Display Max wants to be uh, the smart home hub at the center of your smart home. And, uh, you know, in order for something to do that, it has to be super compatible, really. And, um, you know, they've got compatibility down as being two and a half thousand plus brands, uh, you know, whether that's uh, Zigbee or Matter or, you know, Wi-Fi, whatever. Um, I've tried it out with a Matter smart plug. A UK one um, from a company called Atree, so uh, just a, a brand that's on Amazon. Really straightforward process. The Display Max doesn't have a camera on it, so you've got to punch in the matter code uh, to get the device on. But you know, no uh, great shakes for that. And um, you know, when it's on, it just works as you would expect. You get a nice little tile on the dashboard with an on-off uh, switch for your uh, for your your smart plug. Um, Zigbee devices, they're a little bit different. So I've got uh, an Acara uh, door sensor 
um, that I've got paired up to it. So when you do this, um, what it actually does is it flips into Home Assistant to go and um, uh, on basically onboard the device, and then you uh, you via ZHA, and then you go back into the the main ISG display. Uh, interface and you add the device via Home Assistant, it shows up there. So a little bit fiddly, um, you know, maybe one day the guys can make that a little bit slicker, I don't know, um, but that's the way that it works and it, and it works okay. You know, it's not, uh, it's not the end of the world. Um, the next device that I tried, um, and this is just, this is just amazing. I mean, you know, it, it's just, I, Toya devices have been the bane of my life in my smart home, so much so that they went into that smart home uh, device drawer, never to be used again. Uh, all the messing around with, you know, either the official home assistant or Toya local or local Toya and the Toya IoT account, all that kind of stuff. I, I just gave up and moved to Zigbee based uh, bulbs. However, um, the ISG Display Max apparently does away with all of that and uh, sure enough uh, I'm, I'm just amazed by it you know this is how it should be to add toy devices into a smart home system uh, you put your bulb into pairing mode and you add the device and it just works yeah it's as simple as that so uh, you know hats off to uh, link and link for making that such a simple process i don't know how they've done it uh, you know, if you if you you know watching uh, this, you know, and you know how they've done it, then you know comment down below. I'll be really interested on that. Now, one of the the main features, obviously, of a smart home hub is not you know necessarily that you've just got it as a hub, that you've actually got dashboards on it, and uh, you know the ISG is no different. Uh, in that regard, so you can set up some uh, lovely dashboards, you can have multi pages on them and things like that, and you can uh, group things kind of like your favorites together and put buttons uh, where you want them. Um, you know, all, all pretty nice, makes it really uh, quite a nice interface, for, really, for anybody to use within your household. Uh, you know, you can have your weather on there, you can have a clock on there, um, yeah, you know, you can have it on a room basis if you want. So. Um, a really nice interface for your dashboards. Um, what they've also got in the interface as well is this uh, concept of add-ons. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got things like Spotify here that you can go and put onto one of your dashboards as well. Um, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, a Play Store for applications on a normal tablet. Um, but yeah, you know, you've got things like Node-RED, you've got um, um, Zigbee to MQTT if you want to go and use that instead of uh, ZHA. You know, there's lots of uh, different things on there. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's more than just your uh, smart devices that are going on a dashboard by, by using that add-on functionality. Now, one of the really big features of the ISG Display Max uh, that Link and Link have gone and done is basically um, you know, the ability to connect on your own Home Assistant instance. That's right, you can connect this to your existing running Home Assistant and you can bring those devices to be able to control them within the ISG Display Max. Um, now all you need to do, you just need to provide the IP address uh, of that Home Assistant instance, and then um, in your Home Assistant, you set up a long life token and you enter that onto the Display Max. Now, uh, I will say, you know, don't try and type that in uh, because you will just get it wrong. Uh, I think the interface could be a little bit better. Uh, link and link if you can do anything with that just because the keyboard kind of obscures the input sometimes. Um, but uh, there is an easier way. You put your IP address in and you click on the IP address and it navigates off to your Home Assistant whereby you can log in and you can generate that token and then copy it. And then you go back into the ISG software and then you can paste that token in. And, and you know, rather than it being some long laborious task, uh, it's really quick and simple to go and do that. And when it's finished, you know, all your devices show up and you can just add them onto your dashboard. Really straightforward. Now, any smart home hub needs to have some kind of ability to do automations and no different with the ISG Display Max. Um, yeah, it's all very, very familiar if you're used to things like uh, Home Assistant or Smart Life or 
you know, a, a, another um, manufacturer's app that's got automations in. Basically, you pick your device, you pick what you want it to do, etc. Yeah, really, really straightforward. Um, so, you know, they've, they've really kept that simple from that point of view. Now, on the interface, there is an energy dashboard. Uh, now, I couldn't get anything to show up here. I have power monitoring uh, smart plugs. They didn't show up. I think it's meant for kind of next level up devices, as it were, things like your your um, meters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, yeah, it looks quite interesting. This is a picture of what it would look like if I could get it working. Um, very, very similar to the kind of energy dashboard that you uh, get in Home Assistant. I think it's interesting to note um, that in the kind of like the media pack that they've provided, me uh, to help me with my review you know give me that background information um, in the plan for the product they see the energy dashboard as really being something that is going to be uh, you know fundamental in, in your smart home uh, to help with energy saving all that kind of stuff you know it's a three looks like it's a three-stage plan uh, by all accounts um, so you know really be interesting to see how they build that out and, and what gets added uh, eventually on that um, but you know great that they've got that kind of idea for it because obviously you know such an important thing nowadays uh, you know energy saving uh, around the world so one of the other things that I noticed on the uh, website when I was looking at the ISG display max there was this mention of an ISG light um, you know not an awful lot of details about it and I didn't have anything sent to me about it so I reached out to Lincoln Link to just ask them what it was you know was it available or whatever um, basically for a small monthly fee or you know a small annual fee um, you know if you've got an old tablet hanging around then you can install a light version of the software that comes with the ISG Display Max and you can hook that up to your uh, display and you can have multi display uh, in your smart home I, I just think you know that's just such a fantastic idea um, you know it really does enable to you you know to reuse your old uh, you know touchscreen tablets uh, as long as you've gone and bought kind of like the main device so what are my thoughts about the ISG display max well there's a lot to like about this uh, you know it's a very very capable smart home hub there's a couple of little niggles. I'll get to those in a second, but you know it's a it's a nice interface. It's got pretty much everything on board that you are going to need. Um, you know it makes it easy to get uh, a nice smart home interface set up for everyone within your household to be able to use. And you know whether that's going to be sat on a coffee table or you know stuck up on a wall or something like that. You know people are going to want to uh, you know use this. Um, in terms of the niggles, uh, obviously everybody's going to say Z-Wave to be built in. I think that really, you know, if we're doing a version two of this, you know, that's something that needs to be, uh, you know, on number one on the list. I think even though you've got the USB port to be able to add the dongle, to be able to have everything built in, I think that is that that's the super home hub that probably people want. Um, there's a couple of UI niggles. That our founders have been using it uh, for a while, uh, you know, which I'll feed back to uh, Link and Link when I get a moment. Um, I think it could do with uh, kind of like a, a you know some kind of motion sensor on the front. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, if they're doing their own tablet, they they have it set so that uh, you know Home Assistant will display on the screen when somebody walks past it. I can't find a way to be able to do that. I can't see anything that says. Uh, it's got that kind of detection on it. So, you know, if there was a, a way to get that one, I think that would be great. You know, there, there are other options available, but, you know, yeah, you need something like that. Um, you know, price-wise, uh, it's $219, the, the retail price for it, uh, which is around about £170, uh, which is just phenomenal when you consider what you are actually getting uh, in the smart home hub. Um yeah, you know, you'd be hard pressed to get a decent tablet for that that price. Same, same kind of features uh, on on board in that. Um, but the nice people at Lincoln Link have given me a discount code, uh, 
uh, which if you use the link down below in the description and use the code Bite of Geek, uh, they will knock off another $30 off that price, but only until the 9th of December. That's right, only to the 9th of December. Uh, makes perfect timing, you know, get yourself an early Christmas present um, and uh, yeah, you know, get that up on the wall for Christmas. But um, yeah, yeah, that, that brings it down to sub $200. It's, it's crazy price that. Anyway, um, yeah, I think, you know, if you are interested in having something like this in your home, um, this is almost certainly the option that you've got to go for rather than cobbling something together. So there you go. That's my thoughts on the ISG Display Max. Uh, you know, if you've got one of these set up in your house, let me know down below in the comments. If you've got the uh, the other version, uh, the earlier version, drop your comments down below. Uh, you know, how's it going for you? Um, you know, if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.